Hi, I'm Cami Garcia. I am the co-author of the Beautiful Creatures series and the Dangerous Creatures series. I am also the author of um, Unbreakable and Unmarked in the Legion series, uh, The X-Files Origins, Agent of Chaos, The Lovely Reckless, and um, Broken Beautiful Hearts. And then most recently, I started writing graphic novels for DC Comics, and I'm the author of uh, Teen Titans Raven and Teen Titans Beast Boy in the Teen Titans series, which is a lot of fun. Um, I became an author kind of by accident. So I have, um, I don't know, I don't have fancy ways of doing things. I wrote Beautiful Creatures on a Dare uh, for seven of my students with my best friend, Margaret Stoll. And in a weird way, it was kind of like NaNoWriMo because every day we would give the teens new chapters. And so every day, like we had to keep writing. We couldn't have like a day off and we had to write as quickly as possible. And we weren't really focused on things being perfect. We were just telling this story. And um, when I, I don't do NaNoWriMo officially, but I try to do writing sprints and do it as much as I can during the month of November. I've never had, I've usually been editing at that time or a lot of my books come out in October. So I'm promoting a book. So I can't like take on drafting a new novel. But this year I'm definitely going to be trying. Um, I have an unannounced DC uh, graphic novel and I'm going to try to draft all of it during NaNoWriMo. Um, the things that I need to have around me when I'm writing, uh, I, sometimes I write on a laptop and sometimes I write longhand in, uh, spiral notebooks. I definitely need, um, noise canceling headphones. I wear these big headphones because I hear the characters talking in my head. It's kind of like a movie and I try to, you know, I try to record it, like get it down on paper or on the computer as quickly as possible. So uh, I find that if I have music or other things happening, it kind of distracts me. So I always have my noise canceling headphones. I don't always have snacks because if I write longhand, the snacks will distract me. But I do like to reward myself. I try to have a daily word count goal, even when it's not NaNoWriMo. And I try to participate a lot in um, writing sprints online or with friends. I learned about those from NaNoWriMo and they really help. They help me stay focused. I have ADHD, so sometimes I'll go online and start messing around on social media, not doing my work. So sometimes I use fun things like getting ice cream or making cookie dough or ordering Mexican food as like rewards for hitting certain word count goals. And that works really well because I'm like a positive reinforcement kind of person. And I love that. Um, I also like trying to write as much as I can during NaNoWriMo because I like the sense of knowing that other people are out there working towards the same goal that I am. And writing advice. I hate to give writing advice because I feel like it doesn't always, no advice applies to everyone. But the one thing that does apply is if you want to be a writer, you have to finish. You have to learn how to finish writing a book, a poem, whatever it is you're writing. And a lot of people are really good at starting. But then after a while, they start to doubt themselves, they start to get bored and they quit. And so they have the beginning of a lot of books. So one of my most important pieces of advice is to learn how to finish. Even if you don't like your novel, even if you don't think it's great, finish it. Because when you finish, number one, you have something to fix up. Sometimes you come up with a great idea or you find the kernel of something else while you're writing. But most importantly, you teach yourself that you can finish a book. Because a lot of people in your life, unfortunately, and in the world, they're going to tell you that you can't be a writer. You can't do this. It's too hard. Um, there's It's too much competition. You're not good at finishing things. So you have to prove to yourself that you can. The other uh, piece of advice is related. Um, you will always have doubt. You will always have self-doubt. You will, uh, even as many novels and books as I've written and sold, I still, every time I'm drafting, I feel like my book is terrible. I feel like I'm writing the book that's gonna ruin my career. I feel like, why am I doing this? Um, I have that voice of doubt in the back of my head. And um, you have to make friends with doubt. You have to be comfortable with the idea that you are going to have doubts. And you have to know how to, um, you know, kind of eradicate them, like just kill them where they stand. Uh, and the best way is, you know, to kind of, I mean, if you, if someone says you can't, you know, you're not gonna be able to write or you don't have to know how to write a book. If you finished writing a book before, even if it's not published, you, you know that you can do it. So that's important. Um, 
The other thing is just to remember, we all have doubts. All of us feel like we can't do this at times. All of us feel like our book is terrible. Um, you are not alone. Talk to other writers on Twitter, reach out to us, and we will tell you. You'll see people like, you know, me tweeting that we feel like we had a terrible writing day or our writing's not going, you know, going well. Uh, NaNoWriMo creates a great community all during all the times of the year. I'm on the writer's board. I really believe in it. And, um, you know, joining other people, it does kind of cheer you on. It helps you keep going. And, um, and I mean, I want NaNoWriMo to stay around. I, I mean, I hope if you can, please donate to NaNoWriMo. They have outreach for schools. They have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of free resources. And then they support all of us as writers. You know, they come up, they have pep talks and coaches and sprints and all these fun things that help all of us write and help a lot of writers actually draft their books during the month of November. And this year, I'm going to try to be one of them. So um, if you can support them, please do. Um, I, I just feel like they're, you know, they are cheerleaders. Like they're helping us all make the thing that's so important to us happen. And even if you're a reader watching this, you know, they're helping us finish the books that you love. So please donate. And um, please, please, if you're a writer or you want to be a writer, do not give up. If you are writing, you're a writer. It doesn't matter if you're published. Just keep going as I am rooting for you and I want to read your book.